आकाशवाणी प्रेजेंट्स मॉर्निंग न्यूज गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम वी सी प्रमोद द हेडलाइंस सेंटर रिवोक्स प्रेजिडेंट रूल इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर पेविंग वे फॉर फॉर्मेशन ऑफ अ न्यू गवर्नमेंट इन द यूनियन टेरिटरी बीजेपी अपॉइंट यूनियन होम मिनिस्टर अमित शाह एंड मध्य प्रदेश चीफ मिनिस्टर मोहन यादव एज सेंट्रल ऑब्जर्वर्स फॉर हरियाणा बीजेपी लेजिस्लेटर पार्टी मीटिंग प्रेजिडेंट द्रौपदी मुर्मू एड्रेसिस इंडियन कम्युनिटी इन एलजीएस टू होल्ड मीटिंग विद एलजीरियन लीडर्स टूडे लोकसभा स्पीकर ओम बिरला टू पार्टिसिपेट इन आई पी यूज गवर्निंग काउंसिल मीटिंग एंड एड्रेस इंडियन डायस परा इन जनीवा टूडे इंडिया स्थानिया हेमंत बी तुंग चियाओ तोंग ऑफ ताइपे टू विन विमेन सिंगल्स टाइटल एट बेंदीगो इंटरनेशनल चैलेंज बैडमिंटन टूर्नामेंट इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड फोर्थ हॉकी इंडिया सीनियर विमेन इंटर डिपार्टमेंट नेशनल चैंपियनशिप टू बिगिन टूडे इन न्यू डेली center has revoked president's rule in jammu and kashmir paving the way for the formation of a new government in the union territory a notification in this regard has been issued by the central government national conference congress alliance has secured majority in the recently held assembly elections more from our correspondent In a significant political development, President's rule in Jammu and Kashmir has been revoked late last night, paving the way for the formation of a new government in the Union Territory. A gazette notification to this effect was issued by the Union Home Ministry. Earlier, National Conference Vice President Umar Abdullah met Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha on Friday in Rajbhavan, Srinagar, and had staked claim for the formation of the new government in Jammu and Kashmir. Notably, this would be the second tenure of Umar Abdullah as Chief Minister and the first elected government in Jammu and Kashmir after the abrogation of Article 370 and 35A in 2019 and the bifurcation of the erstwhile state into two union territories, Ladakh and Jammu and Kashmir. This is Sunil Kohl for Akashwani News from Srinagar. BJP has appointed Union Home Minister Amit Shah and Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister Mohan Yadav as central observers for the Haryana BJP Legislative Party meeting to elect its leader. The party has also appointed Union Minister Prahlad Joshi and party's National General Secretary Tarun Chug as central observers for the Jammu and Kashmir BJP Legislative Party meeting to elect its leader. President Draupadi Murmu reached Algiers, the capital city of Algeria, last evening as part of a week-long three-nation visit to Algeria, Mauritania, and Malawi. On the second day of her visit in Algeria, Algeria today, President is scheduled to hold various bilateral meetings with Algerian leadership, aiming to give a major impetus for strengthening and expanding the Indo-Algerian relations. More from our correspondent. President Draupadi Murmu was accorded a warm ceremonial welcome on her arrival at the Algiers International Airport last evening. She was welcomed by the President of People's Democratic Republic of Algeria, Abdul Majid Taboon. Speaking at the community reception later in the evening last day, President appreciated the efforts of Indian community in Algeria and urged them to continue the good work thus strengthening the Indo-Algerian relation. Bharatiya samaj ne विदेशों में भारत की प्रतिष्ठा और सम्मान बढ़ाने में भारतीय समुदाय के योगदान को हमेशा महत्व दिया है और उसकी सराहना भी करती है अल्जीरियन में रहने वाले भारतीय समुदाय भारत की राष्ट्रीय सुरक्षा और आर्थिक हितों तथा तो सॉफ्ट पावर को आगे बढ़ाने के लिए एक सेतु की भूमिका निभाता है एक करोड़ भारतीयों के सामूहिक प्रयासों ऐसी हम आशाओं और आकांक्षाओं की एक नई यात्रा पर निकल पड़े Today, President Draupadi Murmu is scheduled to visit the Makam Ijahid, the Martyrs Memorial, built in memory of the fighters of Algerian War of Independence, and lay wreath there. President will also visit the Mujahid Museum. President is also scheduled to have bilateral meetings with her counterpart Abdul Majid Taboon and other delegation level talks. She will also address the Algerian India Economic Forum today. Mayusha for Agashwani News from Algiers. Our correspondent covering president's visit spoke to an Indian origin businessman settled in Algeria. 
Myself, Dhruvin Soni. I am a resident of Algeria, but I am an Indian citizen. I belong to Gujarat. I have been living in this beautiful country for more than 10 years now. And uh, in all my previous experience and endeavor in this country, this is the first ever biggest political visit from our Indian side. And really we are excited for a future outcome because there are so much fields vacant and there is a lot of vacuum that the spirit of India can fulfill for the Algeria to create and develop a very strong bilateral on the second leg of the visit, President Draupadi Murmu will visit Mauritania on 16th October and in the final leg, President will visit Malawi from 17th to 19th of October. Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla, who is leading a parliamentary delegation to the 149th Assembly of the Inter-Parliamentary Union, IPU, arrived in Geneva last night. In a social media post, Mr. Birla said that during his visit, he will address the Assembly on the theme harnessing science, technology and innovation for a more peaceful and sustainable future. The Assembly will continue till the 17th of this month. Mr. Birla will participate in the meetings of the IPU's Governing Council and will meet the Indian diaspora in Geneva today. Besides, he will also meet his counterparts from other parliaments on the sidelines of the Assembly. The delegation comprises Rajya Sabha Deputy Chairman Harivan Singh, Secretary General of both the Houses and various other members of Parliament. The U.S.-India Strategic Partnership Forum, USISPF, is set to host its annual India Leadership Summit 2024 in New Delhi today to enhance bilateral trade, supply chains, semiconductor investment, AI and next generation technologies cooperation. The summit follows on the heels of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's successful recent visit to the U.S. for the Quad Leaders Summit and the United Nations General Assembly, UNGA. The day-long summit also aims to bolster defense ties, promote clean energy and secure a free and open Indo-Pacific. John Chambers, chairman of USISPF, has said that this is India's century and he is excited about the possibilities that lie ahead as we work closely with the Indian leaders to build a shared and prosperous future for both the nations. The summit offers a vital platform to strengthen the dynamic strategic partnership between Washington and New Delhi. This is Akashwani giving you the news. For quick news updates round the clock, follow us on our X handle at the rate AIR News Alerts. In line with the central government's policy of zero tolerance against drugs and Nasha Mukt Bharat Abhiyan, the special cell of the Delhi police and Gujarat police have seized 518 kilograms of cocaine from Gujarat. Sources said that during the joint operation, the cocaine was recovered from Afkar Drugs Limited Company in Ankleshwar, Gujarat yesterday. The estimated value of the drug in international market is around 5,000 crore rupees. In Jammu and Kashmir, government has directed both divisional commissioners and all 20 deputy commissioners to ensure demarcation of land of temples in their respective jurisdiction and removal of encroachments. Detailed status of all the historic temples will be collected and hosted on the website of the Department of Culture. The JNK Chief Secretary recently held deliberations on restoration of temples in the Union Territory in the light of an order marked by the High Court of JNK and Ladakh. Popular film producer, director and screenwriter Raj Kumar Hirani was given the National Kishor Kumar Award in Khandwa, Madhya Pradesh yesterday on the occasion of the 37th death anniversary of the renowned singer and actor Kishor Kumar. Khandwa is the birthplace of Kishor Kumar. MP Government's Cabinet Minister Kumar Vijay Shah gave away this national award. The award is given every year to the eminent artist by Directorate of Culture, Madhya Pradesh Government from 1997. In Kerala, the Kochi City Police has arrested Tamil Malayalam film actor Bala from his residence this morning, following a complaint by his ex-wife. His former wife, singer Amrita Suresh, had lodged a complaint against him, accusing him of insulting her through social media and also claimed that his posts had emotionally hurt their 12-year-old daughter. The police also slapped another case under the Juvenile Justice Act against Bala. He will be produced in court later in the day. The India Meteorological Department, IMD, has forecast very heavy rainfall over Tamil Nadu, Puducherry, Karaikal, Kerala and coastal Andhra Pradesh during the next three to four days. The IMD has also predicted heavy rainfall over coastal and south interior Karnataka tomorrow. 
Meanwhile, light to moderate rainfall conditions will prevail over Gujarat, Konkan, Goa, Madhya Maharashtra, Marathwada, Madhya Pradesh, Vidarbha, Chhattisgarh during the week. Now we have a sports roundup. In badminton, India Stanya Hemant has clinched the women's singles title at the Bendigo International Challenge Tournament in Australia yesterday. Tanya, the second seeded, defeated Tang Chiu Tong of Taipei, seeded six in straight games 21-17, 21-17 to win the women's singles summit clash. This was the 21-year-old Tanya's third international title and first of the year. The fourth Hockey India Senior Women Inter Department National Championship will begin today at the Major Dhyanchan Stadium in New Delhi. The tournament will feature 12 teams divided into four pools and it will run till 21st of this month. In another development in hockey, Indian captain Harman Preet Singh became the most expensive player on day 1 of the Hockey India League auction. With Suma Hockey Club snapping the star drag flicker for 78 lakh rupees, Abhishek became the second most expensive buy acquired by Shraji Ra Bengal Tigers for 72 lakh rupees the league will commence from 28th of December in the women's T20 cricket world cup australia beat india by 9 runs in a group a match at the sharjah cricket stadium last night with this victory australia sealed their place in the semi finals while india's chances to qualify for the semis rest with the result of the final group a encounter between new zealand and pakistan in tennis ace indian partners yuki bhamri ritwik choudhury bolipalli and arjun kade will be in action at the almaty open men Double spree quarter finals in Almaty, Kazakhstan today. Yuki and his French companion Albano Olivetti will lock horns with Jacob Schneider and Mark Wallner of Germany this evening. Vishnu Pias, Akashwani News, Delhi. In the US, Elon Musk's SpaceX company achieved a significant milestone by catching the massive booster stage from its Starship rocket in a pair of robotic arms as it fell back to the company's launch pad in southern Texas last evening. The liftoff occurred at 5:55 p.m. Indian Standard Time. After the liftoff, the booster returned to the launch pad while the upper stage of Starship was due to splash down in the Indian Ocean within the hour. The 71 meter Starship rocket is the largest and most powerful spacecraft ever built. The rocket is also designed to be fully and rapidly reusable. SpaceX company which is behind the creation is hoping to develop a spaceship that can be used more like a plane than a traditional rocket system being able to land, refuel and take off again a few hours after landing. In our bilingual live phone and program public speak today at 9:30 p.m we will bring an insightful discussion on consumer rights and responsibilities with Nidhi Khare Secretary Department of Consumer Affairs during the program listeners will have the opportunity to pose questions to our guest on understanding consumer rights and responsibilities to help make empower choices to participate simply dial the telephone number 0112342105 and 0112331444 from 9:30 p.m. onwards alternatively you can also send your queries via whatsapp to the number 9289094044 or post your queries on x with the hashtag #askair and now for a look at today's newspapers it's over to renu kataria thank you pramod PM hails transformative effect of Gati Shakti plan headlines the Hindustan Times the paper adds that Modi paid a surprise visit to the PM Gati Shakti Anubhuti Kendra at Bharat Mandapam and hailed the initiative's transformative experience BJP top brass meet on UP Rajasthan by poll choices headlines the Asian age the tribune headlines Shah MP CM appointed observers for Haryana The papers add that JP Nadda, Yogi Adityanath, Amit Shah and Rajasthan CM Bhajan Lal Sharma finalize the names of the party's candidates for the impending bypolls in the two states and finally a story in Indian Express states that Deena Sanichar a 6-year-old living with wolves and discovered by hunters in Feb 1867 from a cave in Bulandshehar could be the inspiration behind Mowgli in Rudyard Kipling's Jungle Book and with that it's back to you Pramod Thank you Rena and now before we end the bulletin the headlines once again Center revokes president's rule in Jammu and Kashmir paving way for formation of a new government in the union territory BJP appoints union home minister Amit Shah and Madhya Pradesh chief minister Mohan Yadav as central observers for Haryana BJP legislature party meeting President Draupadi Murmu addresses Indian community in Algiers to hold meetings with Algerian leaders today 
Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla to participate in IPU's Governing Council meeting and address Indian diaspora in Geneva today. India's Tanya Heman be Tung Chio Tong of Taipei to win women's singles title at Bendigo International Challenge Badminton Tournament in Australia and fourth Hockey India Senior Women Inter-Department National Championship to begin today in New Delhi.